Hey, I wanted to show you my Noodler's Nippon Set pen that I recently won in the Noodler's Ink contest. Now, uh, I've been out gardening all day, so I'm not shaved and hair's a mess, so sorry about that. Anyway, Nippon Set's a pretty big pen. Uh, just for comparison here, whoops, I should look at what I grabbed. This is a regular Noodler's acrylic, so you can see capped. It's uh, probably about a half inch longer. If I uh, uncap them, they are about pretty close to the same. Uh, the Nippon set is miserable to write with posted, so I don't think it's even meant to be posted. But anyway, it's a nice, uh, let's get it closer here. It's a nice, I think they call that a cigar shape. I'm not real technical with this whole pen thing. But uh, what makes it special is right here we have a double slit nib. Now I can tell that this camera will not pick that picture up at all so I will insert a photograph that I took earlier on the floor. Uh, the filling it also has a double channel feed which I did not photograph because it just did not show up well. It's black and I'm not that talented and I don't have a good macro lens. Uh, the filling mechanism is the same as an Ahab, it's just a plunger. I'm not going to plunge it because as you can see I'll make a mess, but same as an Ahab. So all in all, nice pen. I'm going to do a real quick writing sample. And uh, yeah. I'm doing this video with an iPad held in my hand. I'm The paper is uh, Rhodia dot pad, it's, um, the ink is Monteverde turquoise. And before I get too far, let's just look at this shading and this nice flex that I've already created. So the pen, as I've used it, I've used it on cheap paper and dot paper and whatever. Uh, it puts down a lot of ink. In fact, sometimes it even bleeds through the paper. So uh, I'm trying to, I'm holding the iPad in my hand and I'm trying to write watching the iPad not my fingers so this should be fun I may have to find a better way to do this well that's not bad so reasonably smooth writing I uh, I haven't had too much trouble with skipping uh, it just like I said it lays down a lot of ink I don't know what else to say about the writing uh, I have to put some pressure on it to flex, but check that out. Wasn't that beautiful? Oh, now I had some skipping. That may have been my fault. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. But as uh, Mr. Tardiff himself will say, when you're flexing, you need to go slow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that was my fault. I probably don't know what I'm doing. I am not a master calligrapher. But uh, anyway, that should give you an idea of the kind of flex that's possible with this beautiful pen. I really hope to see this pen on the market, or perhaps not, because then I might buy it and spend some money I don't need to spend. Um, so we'll, I hope this was helpful, and I will see you later.